I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Stereotaxis is a global leader in robotic technologies designed to enhance the treatment of irregular heartbeats. With more than 100,000 procedures completed so far, Stereotaxis technology improves both patient outcomes and physician experience. Joining me is the Chairman and CEO, David Fischel. David, tell me about the company's technology and how it's assisting with surgeries. So Stereotex has developed a robotic surgical system. We use very precise computer controlled magnetic fields to navigate an interventional catheter. Um, if you think about surgeries more broadly, there's a whole class of surgeries called endovascular surgery, where you use a catheter navigated through the blood vessels to treat any part of the body. Typically, it's very difficult to navigate that catheter because the surgery takes place at the tip of the catheter, but the physician only has control of the handle. So it's as if you're doing surgery holding a pencil from the eraser or holding a gardening hose, but holding the hose three, four feet back from the edge. We allow the physician to take control using computer controlled uh, systems of the catheter tip directly. Now, what are some of the other advantages to robotic technology um, opposed to traditional surgery? So really it comes down to the patient. Our reason for existence is to improve patient care. And that means to make procedures more successful and to improve access to therapy for patients. If you look, I mean, I think, and if you look at kind of the clinical data, there's a huge body of evidence that supports it, that when a patient is treated with robotics, and we specifically work to treat patients that have heart arrhythmias, there's a few benefits. One is there's improved safety. So there's far fewer rates of adverse events like heart perforations. The second is that there's much less radiation exposure, x-ray radiation exposure for the patient, for the nursing staff, and for the physician. The third is that generally because of the precision and the stability of a catheter navigated robotically, you have better outcomes for the patient. And then the last is that there's a whole group of patients out there that can't be treated with manual catheters or can't be treated well with manual catheters. And so our technology allows physicians to offer those patients a, a form of therapy. Okay, let's talk about future growth. You have a presence in 20 countries, or over 20 countries actually, currently. So what are your plans for growing through 2020 and beyond? So we're still a small company. Uh, in just our current clinical focus, which is treating arrhythmias, we have less than 1% market share of the catheter-based cardiac ablation market. And so if you look at our clinical data, the vast majority of these procedures should be performed robotically. So we have a large headroom for growth. In 2020, we're launching, we expect to launch in the near term, a new robotic system. And in the coming years, we also expect to launch a proprietary catheter and to start to also uh, advance our technology into new clinical applications. And I think those are kind of going to be the primary drivers of growth. Thank you, David. That was Thank David you. Fischel. He is the chairman and CEO of Stereo Texas.